Hey, do you guys want to buy a kingfish? You want to live in a crazy house even though you're not crazy? Are you in the market for two-headed monsters? If you just like listening to more stories every week, then you can help me out. Go to my website, jmore.com, and click on the Amazon link on my website. If you're going to be shopping at Amazon anyway, why not help support more stories at the same time by going to jmore.com, J-A-Y-M-O-H-R.com, bleep, and then click on the Amazon link to their homepage, and then you can shop for whatever you want. Instead of me pushing a product on you, you can just simply go to amazon.com through jmore.com and get any product you want. I mean, I do a lot of favors for you, don't I? I ask you for one thing here, Henry. Go to amazon.com through jmore.com. Look, this is Harvey Keitel. Go to jmore.com. Click the link. Who's going to be okay at amazon.com through jmore.com? Say the damn words. Do me a favor. Help us out. Help keep this podcast rolling. You know how much money I got to pay Matt Cohen every week? Go to amazon.com through jmore.com and I will personally mail each of you $15 million. Part of this was made up. Now, with the rules out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage, Jay Moore. Yes! Thank you, everybody. What's up, buddy? Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out to uh, a live recording of the More Stories podcast. I'm going to bring out our guests in a second, and then when we're done with the podcast, which will be about an hour, then uh, if these guys want to do uh, some stand-up, they'll do it. I will definitely do a ton of stand-up. So just hang in there. And we'll have a good time, okay? Uh, our guests tonight on More Stories, uh, probably the most popular guest that's ever been on ever in the history of more stories out of, I think, like, what, 50 episodes? Because he doesn't want to go in the water. And why doesn't he want to go in the water? Tom Segura, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Segura. Which way you want to be, honey? I just heard this guy do your high elmo voice. I don't want to go in the water. That was tight. Who said that? You said it? That oh That's Kingfish right there. <laughs> that oh thank you, sweetie. Why did that go so far? You know what's interesting about Elmo is a black guy, thank you, does the voice of Elmo. Did you know that? It's like a brother. Did you know that? I had no idea. Yeah, it's a black guy who's like, Yeah, so when I came up with the idea, I was like, something older kid. Let me just show you how it goes, player. Yeah. Oh, Elmo loves you and you're like what the fuck just happened <laughs> it's like so I do I put it down like that you think it's really real the way he starts off though you, no, I think the black voice is fake I think he's Dominican <laughs> do you, do you, hold on what do you think that he shows like, I think he's I, yeah I think he's fake in that voice like I'm <laughs> like Singletary fake <laughs> Like, oh, like Singletary dials it up, like, I love this kind of part. Yeah. yeah, and then when he coached, he's like, he's like I uh, can't play with him, can't win with him, can't wanna, do it. I want to apologize. I think uh, the guy the that effort. created Elmo looks black, but he's like Dominican, and he's just being cool. <laughs> then he wouldn't, yeah? he wouldn't even speak at all, probably. If he was Dominican? They're, they're like, they did about the ball, he did the thing with the ball. <laughs> That, that sounded almost like Chinky Chinaman music. That sounded no, like an actual Chinaman song. That sounds like Sammy Sosa. Break that shit down. They think they pitch in it. Home run. Our other guest on more stories. I can't argue. I mean, it's just. I don't know. I mean, what am I going to do? But you think, but you think that he shows up. I can't up, put two cherries sh- on that Sunday. He shows up. It's like, he shows up. He's like, I have to show you the thing for the Elmo. And then he's like, I don't want to go in the world. Like that. Like, <laughs> And then they're like, that's fucking great, but just don't do your regular Dominican shit. Well, in all fair, he, he is an actual black guy. Like, the, not the like white skin, not like kid right. who play black. <laughs> no, like the guy, the black guy's laughing. Everybody relax. Everybody's like, uh oh, are they starting shit? There's one, two black guys, 300 white people. We, this might get fucking ugly. <laughs> Those two black guys will whoop our ass. <laughs> you know what? They might. So keep it cool, Irvine. So those black guys fucking sink their minds up or whatever they do. Sink their see, minds. The, up. See, he's laughing and everyone's super paranoid. I, no, this is a white fucking place. Ralphie May had the best line ever. He said, "It's so white, 
What, sir? <laughs> it's the fucking... All right, dude. The dude all abides. Right. It's the fucking OC, dude. <laughs> Ralphie May... No, there's no props, bro. Ralphie May said, uh, this town's so white, I went to the airport, the sky caps were white. <laughs> That's some white shit. Yeah. yeah. He's funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, this guy uh, coming out right now was with us at April Foolishness for Kevin and Bean. <laughs> Hands down, best set of the night. And let me tell you something. If you've ever seen 6,000 people give a comedian a standing ovation, it's pretty damn impressive. Brad Williams, come on out, Brad. <laughs> hell yeah. Grab your mic, money. Come on, Bradley. I'm going to sit. Up? You need a stool? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Welcome yeah. aboard, handsome. All right. You guys may have noticed Brad is, this thing? Brad is Irish. <laughs> you, need, you want a boost? Jesus. This, this can we get him a regular chair? <laughs> For those of you listening at home, Brad is a, a rad, little person. You did that. And there's a giant stool on stage that you, you <laughs> climb. It was like watching an ant go up a Jenga tower. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm pro at this thing, though. <laughs> you mounted that shit. Well, the thing, the thing, the thing I like is I do it, and people like literally got quiet, like, is he gonna make it? Like, and... <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure, you know, not because of you, because of the cheap improv stools. It's the same stools from like when Andy Kaufman stood here. It's a big fucking right. stool in the defense of the stool. It is taller than my stool. How did dwarf, little person, can Whatever. we just say midget? No, yeah, yes. I mean, tell yeah, us. Well, like, I don't mind the word midget, but midgets fucking hate me for that. Oh. Uh, they. <laughs> They do. They hate me for it too. Little bastards. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, they actually protested a show I did. Oh my God. They're little signs. Well, they're <laughs> they were three by five cards. Let's be honest. Yeah. Post its. <laughs> you got to get really close to read them. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Car drives up, blocks the entire fucking thing. Like, Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, it was in a. Uh, it was in a... Uh, wait, was that your midget impression? Yeah, it was. <laughs> but not you, like other that's ones. That, that's not, that's not like a velociraptor. <laughs> I was going to say, Tom's midget also doubles as something that attacks Tokyo. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's baby Mothra. What the fuck? Uh, what I loved about Brad... Was anybody here at April Foolishness? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you saw the absolute destruction that this man reigned. Nobody could follow him. First place. First place. Best set, no doubt about it. We were all playing for second place behind Little Lefty on the leaderboard. Uh, you killed so hard. And what I loved about your set was, and I was telling Tommy, because I don't think you've seen Brad do stand-up. Uh, no. No, no, we just hung out in club. I like before. how you had to think, like, have I seen the dwarf do an hour on stage? Well, and, you know? in def- I've, I've seen one. Who? Who did you see, Tanya Lee? Nah, some other... Oh, you, oh, you saw a dwarf stripper. Oh, the stripper. Yeah, little chunky, little yeah, little, sa- one? Uh, little sassy Cassie. Uh, little sassy cat. Is it no? She, wait, is she a <laughs> Vegas one? Real shitty attitude. Too. Oh, that's not that's not Cassie. Uh, wait, do you guys all know each other? So like, yeah, we do. Really? I got a midget Rolodex, bro. <laughs> Midget roller. That's next. great because that's what if somebody's like, "What do you all know each other?" And it's like, "Yeah, actually." Yeah, do. actually, we do. Yeah. Me, me, we man and Dinklage. We have a softball team. That's great. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That's a tight strike zone, man. That's tough to put in there. <laughs> if you can just lay off, I want to. If I look, I'm going to be the coach of the little person softball team, and this is what I want to yell all day. Good eyes! <laughs> no one takes the goddamn bat off their shoulder. I want you guys like Eddie Goodell from the White Sox, all wearing like three Good and one third, like fractions and shit on your backs. <laughs> Half. Seven eighths. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a great pairing that you two are here tonight because you are, uh, you call yourself a, just what do we say all night? Yeah, just say midget, it's cool. You're a midget, yeah. and Tommy has about 20 minutes of material about midgets. Oh, yeah? So. It's, we don't have to do it Let's now. see how accurate it is. <laughs> Let's wait. It, uh, really? You don't want to tell? I mean, because it's, it's, it's a good story. Right. It actually happened to you when the guy was mad at you. Oh, what happened? I want to know this. I might know him. And we're off. No, you don't know this one. And we're off. How do you know? You don't know how big his little Rolodex is. <laughs> but it's not... Really? <laughs> that got to know? Wow. Nigger, nigger, kike, spook, motherfucking cunt. All right? We got it all out? We're good. Really? 
I say little Rolodex and they go, oh, that's <laughs> fucked up, man. When, when, when I said it, too. Jeez, Louise. say it to his face. I did. I did have. Uh, uh, well, I was in Atlantic City, and I did uh, a, a a little midget. No offense. No little midget. As opposed bit. to a big midget. Uh, well, I did a bit. I did a bit about it. Okay. And uh, what is? May I put a pin in that? What yeah. is the cutoff? Like, who's the tallest midget? Uh, four foot ten. No. Yeah, that's the cutoff. That's like every Filipino girl here. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if you're tight. a couple if, Portuguese are that small. If you're too. four foot ten. Couple porties? <laughs> if you're if you're a four foot ten by full adult height, you're you could actually get a handicap placard. Really? Yeah. Does anybody here four foot ten? Be honest. This you are? little what this little you're four nine? Nine? this little no. white woman is four nine? Get Do your you, blue plaque. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a little person? She's like, fuck that. <laughs> Shit. Don't put me I'm in that category. Hustling. I get dick for days. <laughs> uh, well, I can reach the soda fountain at Wendy's. Do you fuck think- off. <laughs> I can't. Think- that thing's a bitch. Do you, you really? The- uh, no, it sucks. Do you think the little the little people with big world dad is a fucking dick? Oh, uh, roll off, roll off. Yeah. No, nah, dude, he's an inspiration. For real? Yeah. To be he's, a dick? He's such a dick. He's no, he's man. not. He, 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 he's he, where I got that from. He built a farm with crutches. Like with crutches, it's like it's like what's your excuse now as a midget, like to not succeed if, if motherfucker's building a farm with crutches? He's, is that like, the name of his book? Yeah. What's your fucking excuse <laughs> <laughs> to be a fucking failure, midget? I built a farm with crutches. Yeah, the Matthew Roloff story. Matthew what's Roloff. your fucking excuse? <laughs> so you love that guy? Yeah, no, he's great. Oh uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> He's awesome. I like how the reason he's an inspiration to you is that he has crutches. Like, anybody... But then he accomplished some shit. Well, so did everybody else that was ever on crutches. I mean, there's a major... <laughs> no, not major everyone. Crutches <laughs> doesn't really put you down. I mean, come on. Well, I you can ba- get shit done with crutches. We gotta go back to your story, and we gotta go well, back like to what he race? just... Three, huh? <laughs> three-legged race? Three-legged race, said. <laughs> but okay. you said not reaching the fountain drinks at Wendy's yeah but like I like how that to you is the worst part of being a midget like that's right. fucked up like not <laughs> not like the shorter life expectancy I have a shorter life expectancy oh you didn't t- you didn't tell them there were flyers we had true? everyone this we is got your last show man in. this is your last show oh, so <laughs> <laughs> you ended big and there's black people at the Irvine Improv so it's this is right. like a one off it's all right. Hell yeah. Respect this is, the game. This, if this is my last show, this is a hell of a way to go out. This show is practically my make-a-wish. <laughs> You're a good man. But why would not reaching... I, I like that not reaching the fountain drinks at Wendy's makes you irate. Like, that's the it worst does. part is of that, that. Well, is that, because I have to go and, like, physically grab a chair, pull it over, I hop on the chair, I get the soda, and by the time I do it, like, everyone's looking at it like it's, like, Cirque de Mige. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you this? So Honestly, he's, if, so, he's so goddamn strong. I know. Man. It's like watching somebody bench three hundred. You're like, goddamn, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> if you're doing, if you like, okay, let's say, <laughs> let's say you are at Wendy's, right? And you and you walk, you get your cup, and then you're like, you turn, and you're like, motherfucker, that's hundred feet up there. Yeah, and and then like, uh, like uh, a, I don't, what do you call regular? You just call them like normals or we, something? <laughs> <laughs> no, normals. like full grownsies. <laughs> What do you? Is there a name? Do you, Good do you, question. I know. What what do you I mean, call us. I mean, we just call you uh, fucking assholes, reachers, reachers. No, you don't. <laughs> no, we call them reachers. Really? Yeah. I never. Heard. Aren't That's you guys fantastic. a little fascinated at the insight you're getting? Right. No, reachers, because you can reach. It. Reachers. Yeah, exactly. You don't like that? Yeah. Well, it's like, I, I so have a fucking hard. reacher over you there. You reach. You were shit that he's she like. Got, she's I'm having a ball. She got the Cosmo Rock and the nachos. So listen. Yeah, you were asking him something yeah. about the okay. Wendy's. So if if you are in that predicament, right. you want your soda, and and somebody is there, and they could grab it for you. Right. Would that bother you? Or not at all? No, no. Help a midget out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the name of his book. Yeah, yeah. Help yeah. a midget out. <laughs> you Guy absolutely William's have story. to write a book called Help a Midget Out. <laughs> Just like all the things you could do, yes. like reach sodas. That's boot- brilliant. Boost to curbs. Yes. You know, put like, lay stuff over puddles because fuck, I could drown in that shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. No, absolutely. Do you have to idea. sit on a box to get a haircut? I do actually, it sucks. 
What kind of like? How well, is it no, like it, it's not that bad until they sit you in the airplane that the five year old like was like like was just in. <laughs> See, you say it's not that bad. And Tommy's laughing. I would smoke a ton of pot and I would go there on purpose. <laughs> if Dude. I was able to, if they had like a giant seat for reachers. <laughs> When you get high with me, we we'll just smoke some Phyllis Deller and we sure. go to the fucking I'll be barber like, shop. Put me in the airplane. Yeah, yeah. you get. The, I'll get the fire truck. You yeah. get the plane, and we'll just look at each other like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we don't even need haircuts. Yeah, cut it up, man. Do 